Hey students, I hope you had a great week learning about rates and how you use rates on different things and playing a lot of games. We played a lot of games this week. So I hope you'll get to your uh, dream box over the weekend. I hope you'll add the hours so you can draw a pumpkin on the back of my head so your class can get a party. We're almost there. I know cohort C is winning, but if cohort A, if everybody did eight lessons a day, you'd be caught up over the weekend. So let's give that a try. Uh, before I have you take the quiz, I want to uh, just do a commercial for one problem solving strategy, and that is do easier problems. If you have a problem like, I want to know what 67% uh, uh, of 17 is, a problem like that sort of makes me nervous because I don't really know what to do. But you know what doesn't make me nervous? I want to know what 50% of four is. That problem doesn't make me nervous. So let me translate. Um, we use percents a lot of times in, in our media and when we look at it, but we've been talking this week, we've been converting percents to fractions, percents to decimals. So I'm gonna convert this percent to a decimal. We talked about in two of the classes, kitty mouthing it over. I'm gonna divide by 100, so that's gonna make 50% is 5 tenths, right? The word of in math is times. 50% or 5 tenths times 4. And now I could use my calculator. I know a lot of you are calculator addicts. Or I could just go 5 times 4 is 20. I have one place to the right of the decimal here. One place there. So one place there. So it makes sense that 50% of four equals two, just like we have here, that checks out. It's gonna be the same thing. All I really need to be able to do is go 67 times 17, and I'll get my answer. So the same thing, when I'm done, I'm gonna count two places there and two places there. So one of my very favorite problem solving strategies <clears throat> is to let go of the hard problem, do an easy problem, and come back. So this is absolutely on the quiz when you're trying to think, oh, let me give you another hint about the quiz. Can I? So if I had, I wasn't gonna do this, but it's Friday. So if I have uh, monkeys compared to baseballs, and I have um, one monkey for every two baseballs. You get this pattern, two, four, three, six. So this is gonna happen all the way along. But if I'm looking for a fraction, what fraction of the, uh, of the um, objects are monkeys? It's not one out of two. There's a ratio of one to two monkeys to baseballs. But how many objects are there? One, two, three. There's really three. So the fraction there is one out of three because there's one monkey and two baseballs. So I know that that's gonna be a little sticker for some people. Uh, but, and and uh, my wife told me that was gonna be a little tricky and a lot of kids would get caught on that. So I hope you don't. I hope you have fun with the quiz. I hope you have fun doing DreamBox. Uh, I hope you have fun doing math. So um, I'll see you later.